more improvements to Evernote. Each one will help you get more done. Today, I want to walk you through each of the latest updates. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, a certified Evernote expert. That means I passed an exam to ensure that I know what I'm talking about, and I get a preview of Evernote's plans. So subscribe, and you won't miss any of my weekly segments on Evernote. Now, I remember explaining that Evernote uh, some time ago had limited the number of notes you could keep inside. And I was asked by some people, well, what happens if I max out? My stock answer was, you won't, because the limit was 100,000 notes. Well, Evernote has now shared that they have three users that top the old limit of 100,000 notes. <laughs> Gee, I thought I was a heavy user. Well, Evernote has now responded and has now upped the maximum notes you can have to 150,000 notes and 2,000 notebooks in your paid accounts. Now, I'm serious about this. If you've maxed out the 100,000 note level or the 2,000 notebook level, I want to talk to you. Maybe interview you for a future segment or just have a conversation, because I want to know how you manage 100,000 plus notes. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's get to some of the other updates. Now, here's the big feature. Uh, you can now pin specific notes to the top of a notebook. So in previous episodes, I've shown you that when I set up a, uh, a, a notebook for a client or a project, uh, I typically create a summary note where I keep of all of the important elements of this project, or in this case, uh, the work for a client, including the contact information and different elements um, of, the, uh, of the work that I do. I want to keep this item uh, on the top where I put all of the supporting documents uh, for that project, or in this case, for the client work. So I want to keep this on top. The way I've done it in the past is I put a little symbol on the top, or Sometimes I'll uh, avoid the asterisk and I'll just put an A and then alphabetizing all of these notes, it keeps it uh, on top. Well, now there's even a better way uh, that you don't need to have the, uh, the, the asterisk or the separate symbol. Now what you can do, uh, as long as you're using uh, desktop and web version 10.92, you can come over here to the uh, three dots, more actions, click down to where it says pin to notebook or pin to home. And now when you click pin to notebook, uh, you'll see the little pin appear and this item will remain at the top of your notebook. Pretty cool, huh? And if you want to eliminate that pin, you just come down here and you can unpin it from your notebook. Also, have you tried the new quote blocks. Uh, this is helpful if you want a, a specific quote uh, to stand out in a note that you have made. So let's just take this. Uh, I've got an article here from the New York Times that I'm, I'm using, but let's say we really want this quote to stand out. There's a couple of ways of creating a quote block. If you remember when Evernote introduced the slash commands, it uh, gave us a number of options. Well, now if you type the slash mark, you will see all of the options that are available to you, including quote. And you see what's happened now. It's uh, made that as a standout quote block. Or if you want to create it in a slightly different way, uh, you can come over to the plus button, click on that, find quote, and now you've created it that way as well. I like the way these things kind of stand out. Uh, it's kind of the equivalent of highlighting for me, which of course you can still do in Evernote, but I like how this kind of like stands out now when I take a look at the note. As Evernote releases new features, I try them out and I demonstrate them for you here on YouTube, but I also add uh, these videos as well as some longer versions uh, to my online on-demand course, Evernote for Beginners. Uh, it's a good way of keeping everybody up to speed on uh, all of the new features. And like I say, I can go a little bit more in depth inside the course. Now, despite the name, the course is not only for beginners, 
but really it's for anyone who wants to make sure they're getting the most out of Evernote. So check it out at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses.